guys it's hum today's video is gonna be a little bit different because i've been feeling kind of uninspired lately and i didn't really want to do any tutorials or any other series of videos like that because i feel like i need to be in the right place for those mentally so i've spent the last couple of days just watching tutorials and i'm amazed by different artists every day people are so talented i'm really inspired to just paint for me without any pressure on what the outcome would look like and if it'll look good on camera i just would really just want to do what i would normally do if it was just me painting without an audience basically which is pretty ironic because i also took the time to try out different angles when i was filming this because i really did want to show you guys close-ups so you can fully see what it feels like when i'm painting so i also want to show you guys this texture for of my gouache because it's acting really weird for some reason it feels very sandy um, it's separating and it's not mixing together it's granulating in a bad way because it's doing it as i'm mixing it and the colors are even refusing to combine together so if you guys will see when i'm painting on the paper some of the colors are actually not mixed and it's leaving some kind of different colored streaks and i'm just I feel like if it was any other day, I'd get frustrated, but today I just miss painting so much. I, the last time I painted with, with gouache was probably two weeks ago, when I did my Amanda Seyfried painting. I also have that on my channel, if you guys want to see that. Um, but today I just miss painting with gouache so much that it didn't bother me. I know when I take the time to step back and analyze what's happening, I'd be alarmed. But for now, I'm just leaving that conversation for later. I actually just want to roll with it and play around with those streaks as much as I can because it, it looks like fun with my mindset right now. It just seems like a fun thing to work with. And yeah, I'm just going to try and incorporate that to the whole piece. Today, I'm drawing Beth Harmon from The Queen's Gambit. I really love watching the show. I watched it a few months ago in one sitting thinking it was a movie. And then after watching it for a couple of hours, I realized it was actually a mini series. It was just that good. Um, I also really love painting Anya Taylor Joy. I've drawn her three to four times, maybe, starting with my very weird um, The Witch fan arts. She just has a very drawable face. She has very distinctive features, I feel like, and many artists may be drawn to that, including me. Which is ironic again, because the goal for this piece was to strip down all of the details down to the most important ones. I was inspired by the photo that I saw. It looks like a very blurry screenshot. I want to maintain that not really fuzziness, but I wanted to not have to not be focused on a certain parts. I want the pose and her expression and the lighting to be taking center stage for this piece rather than have it be the details that stand out. And I already know there's going to be problems that come up with that. And the first one is that I tend to overdo some areas. So I want to work on that. And I also want to usually go for very graphic um, lighting and even line work. So I know it's going to be a struggle to create a dynamic picture without pumping up the values and overdoing the details. I don't even want to add that much contrast to this piece. So we'll see how it goes. I really like this Giorgione brushes that I got. They're great and they, are, they only shed once. <laughs> only one of them did for this whole painting and I'm not very careful with my brushes. So I really like that. They're way better than the Simi Art ones that I got, which are, were much more expensive. I got these for 300 pesos for the whole set. And those Simi Art ones felt very plasticky, and, but I really love the feel of these Giorgione brushes. They also soak up water pretty well, so there's that. Um, flat brushes are just great for gouache because you can really see those blocked, blocky shapes when you're painting with them. And they're great for gouache, especially because gouache maintains those shapes when you paint. It doesn't get washed out by the water. And I really like that. I played around with the textures for this and I just actually used flat brushes for the whole piece. 
usually for my watercolors my go-to brushes are my round brushes for the first few layers and then my smaller round brushes for the details and those smaller ones really make very uh, sharp strokes when you paint with them these flat brushes are nice for blocking out big shapes and if you want to maintain those squared out brush strokes then these are perfect for that I positioned her lower on the paper so that she'll look tiny but I also wanted to make sure that the background isn't just a flat surface by adding some texture to it with my big flat brush. When I was first putting down the paints that I was going to use, it looked like I was planning on doing a lot of a lot of colors, but most of those colors are actually related to each other. Um, I wanted it to look like the, the color palette was very limited, so basically I wanted the background to look a cooler toned gray while she stands out by being very vibrant and with warmer sort of colors for her. I've said this to be one of the frustrating things with gouache is that the values dry different than when you're painting them so the lighter colors will dry darker and the darker colors will dry lighter than they are but on this piece when I don't want it to be to look too graphic and the contrasts in the painting to not be too drastic that quality of gouache really was a good thing just this once so the painting isn't very detailed and the only reason it took so long was because i had to wait for the gouache to dry before i could move on to the other layers gouache is very difficult in that way because if ever you add very wet layers to to dry ones you risk reactivating them and even, even if those layers underneath are only very slightly still wet, then the gouache on top wouldn't even stick to the paper. So yeah, gouache is a very hard medium. There's lots of going back and forth before you can figure out what works with it. And it's, and it's especially hard when you're someone who's, uh, who started out from watercolors. I do feel like they're a completely different medium from watercolors. People have said that they're just a more opaque watercolor and I don't think that's true. I feel like when you're approaching gouache, you should take it as its own medium and not have your own preconceptions of how watercolor works affect how you paint with gouache. Throughout this whole painting, it felt like it was very fragmented. I don't know why. So the way I put the put it all together was to add the yellow highlights on top of almost everything. How I did that was how I used my flat brushes and put the gouache on the palette without any water on them and without any water on my brush either. And I just scraped that onto the painting with my dry brush. And it created a really nice hazy sort of brush strokes on top of everything else and I felt like it really worked. also managed to bring the piece together which I really like. So yeah, painting with gouache is really fun. There really is no other medium quite like it. Uh, a big part of my art block I would say was because I started this really big big acrylic painting and 
took up a lot of my time and energy so i just really wanted to do something small and fun also acrylic is very different from gouache it doesn't reactivate as easily as gouache does which is a good thing and a bad thing because you can add layers on top of each other as soon as they're dry but with gouache it, it's easier to mix the colors that you need because it's easy to reactivate when acrylic paint is dry on the palette it's you can still reactivate them but it's not as easy as it is with gouache so it's easier to mix the colors with gouache and you can also go dark to light with gouache which you can't do with watercolors so yeah this is how the whole painting looks like um it's not really very special but the process is very enjoyable and i hope it was enjoyable for you to watch too that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you again soon